In a century, the Willamette Falls locks allowed river traffic to get from one side of the waterfall to the other. Built back in the 1870s, their primary purpose was to move logs and cargo. But eventually, they became a popular way for recreational boaters to get past the falls as well. well it's a historic, you know, site. I, you know, that's the way I think of it. Guy White used to work at the West Lynn Paper Mill right next to the locks. Well, it's kind of cool to be there, just you know, watch them fill the locks up and watch the boat, you know, be way down at the bottom and then come up to the top. But all that changed in 2011 when costly repairs forced the Army Corps of Engineers to shut the locks down. But now a push is underway to reopen them. The Corps has agreed to transfer ownership of the locks to whoever will fix and operate them. As part of the Willamette Falls uh, uh, area, it's a, it's a really important element. A recent study showed there would be millions of dollars in economic benefits to reopening the locks, along with some environmental benefits, too. It would allow barges to once again move goods along the river. The study says just one commercial barge would keep 60 semi-trucks off the highways. Having the possibility of goods and transportation going through the locks um, rather than trucks on the road and or trains on the tracks um, is an, it would be a cool option. Plans to potentially reopen the locks come just as plans for a new river walk at the falls move forward. They call for a scenic pathway as well as shops and restaurants integrated into the old Blue Heron plant. We're expecting to begin construction on the first phase of the project in uh, spring of 2020. Likely just the beginning of a major revitalization of these historic falls. And Governor Brown recently appointed a commission to come up with a way to reopen the locks here at the falls. As of now, that commission is still looking for a potential owner and operator. Back to you. What's well, an exciting project. Thank you, Kaylee.